Oh. <laughs> so there he is. Oh, my heart's racing. You cannot, oh, I just cannot portray how exciting it is. This is just a magnificent environment and to cast it out, native sport fish on the eastern, eastern side of Australia in these creeks and rivers is just phenomenal. Another bit of a tip, when you're uh, casting for bass, they do pull really, really hard and the canoe sits very high in the water and doesn't have a lot of, uh, have a lot of drag through the water either. So if you cast straight up along the length of the canoe and you hook a good fish, it can easily pull you into the snag. So it's better to try and place the canoe sideways and it's much harder for the, for the fish or with that drag pressure to pull you back into the snag and hence lose the fish. So. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta love that. Surface fishing of any type. Oh, but now, oh, feisty little native bass. Oh, this beautiful little creek fish here are just the pinnacle for me. There's no doubt. So the poor, the poor old outboard, the old E-Tech, stuck on the bottom. We were hunting some rivers, and we couldn't go any further, so we pulled the canoe out and uh, decide to have a bit of a fish. And uh, I'm happy to say, with a little bit of success there, it's only a small fish, this one, but uh, nice little fish as it is. I'll just get the hooks out of him. There he is. This is a frenzy pop of this one. Uh, cup face, and the thing I like about them, I've got bass in my pond at home, and uh, just studying the way they strike, it sits down in the water, bloop, bloop, sits down, and uh, it's actually been caught on that back travel just just caught on that back trouble. They're not biting very hard today, so I think that's definitely an advantage uh, when you're poppering. So, and I've got the black texture out, and uh, just to give it a little bit more silhouette, drew all over it. I paid for it, I can do what I like with it. So, and uh, there's the finishing result. Beautiful little native Australian bass. Uh, but you can see the water in the background there is quite dark. This fish is very, very dark. And uh, the sun's, well, the sun's not up, it's overcast day, but the light's certainly a lot brighter now. So it's just a matter of trying to get in underneath the snags and cast around. And, and hopefully, this is the start of a couple of bigger ones. Bass are prolific low light feeders, so don't be afraid to fish this really, really skinny water. As you can see, I'm standing here. It's just a little bit deeper against the bank and there is a couple of smaller snags. We've caught some of our biggest fish, oh, really good fish, 48, 50 centimetre fish in very, very shallow water, especially early like this. They'll hunt the shallows. You need to be a little bit stealthy and sneak up and then just fire that cast up there, but certainly fish the shallow water. love structure. Practice your cast, get your cast right in that zone, in against that snag, and that's where you're going to catch the fish. Oh. <laughs> it's hard work, but it's good fun. It's the only way to explore a lot of these creeks. You know, we can take the, take the boat and the uh, and the outboard so far, but then you've got to really resort to something smaller. And quite often, best thing to do is when you're heading up, stop, uh, pull the canoe out, fish the head of the holes, and then canoe up further. I'm going to keep going.
got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I've been casting poppers. The sun's up. Finally, I've got a decent fish here now by the look of it. So, as that light gets higher, it just gets harder and harder to, to pull these big fish out. And this is a really, really big bass. A really big bass. Awesome. That's what we've been trying to catch. Oh, yeah, go you, good thing. Oh. Gotta try and keep them out of the snags as well. And Oh, come on, baby. Oh, you see there, he's really giving me some curry. This is what bass fishing is all about. Oh, it's a really, really nice fish. Here he comes. Yeah, baby, that's a good fish. If I sound excited, that's because I am. So you can see it there. That's a oh, I just grabbed hold of that frenzy popper. I'll get my lip grips out here. Once again, on that frenzy popper. <laughs> Look at that for a bass. Yeah, hang on two seconds. <laughs> oh, hey, this is oh, no, we, 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 we travel around, we catch striped marlin and huge GTs on poppers and all these other fish. But when it comes to East Coast, he's got that popper just crashed that sideways. When it comes to East Coast, uh, New South Wales, Victoria, and the bottom end of Queensland sport fishing, this is it. Hang on a sec, I'll get rid of this rod. I'll give you the grips off there. Oh. Hang on there, girl. There we go. Now that's a bass. That's a bass, magnificent looking fish. Awesome. Makes all that hard work dragging that canoe all worthwhile. Cameraman's just been cruising up the creek, walking along. It's my old mate captain on the camera, and uh, I'm sure he's jealous of that one. Let's we'll stick it on the measure here and see how long it is, eh? Ain't take anything home, so it's just nice for your personal preference to measure how long they are. And that one there is, well, to the tip of the tail, it's 51, and to the fork length, about 40, just on 47, and 51 overall. That, <laughs> that my friends, is a nice bass. Awesome, and did well, put up a good fight. Might let it go, eh? And uh, see if we can't catch another one. It's getting hard work for the poppers, so maybe time to switch to a deeper type, uh, type lure, a spinner bait or a soft plastic or, or something along those lines. Anyway, she deserves a drink. Now that's a magnificent bass. Well, oh. I don't know what to say there, that's, just, that's awesome fishing. I just love my bass fishing and catching them on surface lures is, is just it. Hey, well you've been watching Guesty. This is Fishing the Edge and uh, I'll catch you next time. One thing I've got to do, just one last cast, catch you.